you primarily have your <laughs> your makeup, your ruin makeup. Does, yes. does oh, that yeah. mean anything to yeah. you or is it just cool? Yes. Like cool. All right. And I'll tell you, oh, you know what's a crazy little side note of that is so I started this band when I joined it's a running joke in comedy crest. I said, Oh, do I have to wear makeup? And my first tour, they said, no, we're losing the makeup. So the first tour, I didn't have to do any makeup, but then we came back and they're like, look, all the fans, they want the makeup back. And I was like, <laughs> ah, I don't know if I'm into it. You know, you know, I'm from, I'm from the East coast, Philly. And, uh, I, you know, I'm an easy going, I'm not a tough guy, but you know, you, you have this inherent macho. Oh, I'm not wearing makeup, man. Get out of here. And then, uh, over the course of that tour, I got super into it. And they always laugh. They're like, oh, Mr. No Makeup. And I started getting into it. Most. <laughs> but it was actually, hey. it was actually in Phoenix, Arizona was the first time oh, I ever made the room. And it was totally, okay, I was just had the, the shit and I just went and it just happened. And I was like, oh, okay. And uh, one of the fans, our VIP at that time was, we would, the VIPs came on a tour bus and we would do the makeup on it. And then a couple of fans like, oh, yeah, do your little symbol. And I was like, all right. And uh, did that. And then a guy was making me a custom guitar strap in Wichita, Kansas, a buddy of mine. And uh, it was like two weeks later. And he's like, hey, man, I saw that cool makeup you've been doing. I put it, I, I etched it into this leather strap. And I was like, it wasn't a thing then. But it just had all these things kept happening. And then a T-shirt, this dude who makes T-shirts, he's like, sends me a design. He's like, yo, I made this for a T-shirt for you. Uh, and it was my rune. And I was like, all right, this is oh, that's awesome. It, I guess this is my thing. I guess this is my thing <laughs> you now. Got Nike swish, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> best, yeah, like you said, organic. That's, 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 but now I am course. forever immortalized in the Calabrese filter. That was the best thing, man. When you did that, people love it. I love it. Yeah. I see people I mean, doing it all the time. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I live in those Calabrese filters. I use the one of my makeup that you made me. But the the werewolf one, that is the best one. I mean, I use that like three times a week. That's I'll do my whole live stream in the Calabrese yeah. still. It's the best. Thank That's you. Crazy. Yeah, it's it's harnessing <laughs> weird technology. Man, I, I admit, Eric, it was so hard to figure out how to do that at first. And it, this guy's a drummer. Uh, we can't even imagine. Uh, he can't um, even play drums. How, how can he do this? Rude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so like I knew when I when I first discovered the program, I'm like, I, I want to do this. So then I, I was like, what can be the first one? The first one I did was, um, which Calibri's brother are you? Which is like a fun little game. And then I just played with it, played with it, played with it, and then made a whole bunch. Eventually, uh, you hit me at a good time. I was already like, <laughs> had a bunch of skills already. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll make you a filter. Yeah, um, it's tight. <laughs> and it's it really is it's so dead on too i mean it's like and people use it and probably i mean let me ask you it's so rewarding when you see people using them so it's yeah. cool when people all over the world and like you know all these you know russian girls and they've got their rune <laughs> filter on and undoing all that it's i just it's so cool man <laughs>